we will talk about the structure of the bacteria in detail and also talk about the general characteristics of the bacteria. What is bacteria or what are bacteria? Are they plants? Why they are not plants? Bacteria is the most primitive organism. This is most primitive, one of the most I should say primitive organism. We all know bacteria are single celled these are single celled they are most primitive organism they are single celled and are prokaryotes are prokaryotes We will discuss in the lecture what is the meaning of the prokaryotes. Why we cannot say that the bacteria are plants because the mode of nutrition, <coughs> the mode of nutrition is not autotropic mode of nutrition. It is not autotropic. It is then what? It is heterotropic. What does it mean? Mode of nutrition means the way how they feed themselves. Autotropic, who are autotropic? We all know the plants are autotrophs. Why they are known as autotrophs? Auto means self and tropic means nutrition. They they themselves make their own nutrition, the nutrients they prepare for themselves. They are known as autotrophs because they make their own food and so they are known as autotrophs or we can say that the mode of nutrition is autotropic. Now to have mode of nutrition what autotropic, what is required to have autotropic mode of nutrition one has to have chlorophyll but here the mode of nutrition is also heterotropic so obviously the chlorophyll will also be absent chlorophyll is absent autotropic i hope you all understood auto autotropic autotropic auto means self auto means self and tropic means nutrition so plants are autotropic who are autotropic plants are autotropics why the plants are autotropics because they can prepare their own food that is the reason the plants are autotropics but the one which cannot prepare their own food are known as heterotropic are known as heterotropic now bacteria also comes under the category of heterotropic how they get their food again heterotropic have many different classes maybe parasitic maybe saprophytic so the one who do not have chlorophyll they can't be autotropic their mode of nutrition cannot be uh, like you know autotropic they cannot be autotrophs because to make their own food they have to have chlorophyll now the bacteria even they do not have chlorophyll that is the reason their mode of nutrition is heterotropic now in heterotopic also which mode do they, do they have so they can be parasitic okay they can be parasitic parasitic and saprophytic saprophytic and parasitic now what is the meaning of parasitic and saprophytic so I will explain you over here. 
now parasitic mode of nutrition means what the one which you know take the food from the other organism the one which takes their food from the other organism are known as parasites the parasites can be ecto and endo the parasites can be ecto or endo ecto parasites this i am i am explaining only parasitism i am not talking about the bacteria i'm just i'm i'm explaining only the word parasitic or parasitism what is the meaning of parasites or parasitism the one which get their food from the other organism they don't even make their food but they do not even take the food from others but they just also harm the other organism they also harm the organism parasitism is a mode of nutrition in which a organ an organism get the food from the other organism and also what it harms that organism so it can be ecto when we talk about ecto parasites then take the example of the lice the bed bugs these are ecto parasites they suck the blood of the other organisms and take the food yes endo parasites tap worms round worms these all are endo parasites now we will come to the saprophytes saprophytes means what the one who get their food from the dead and decay organism the one which get their food from dead and decay organism i should not say organism dead and decay may be organism or dead and decay substance dead organism and dead and decay parts so here we are talking about the mode of nutrition of the bacteria bacteria are what actually they are the one of the most primitive organism one of the most i said one of the most primitive organism then they are single celled and prokaryotes prokaryotes i'll be discussing in detail because it needs little more detailing then i'm talking about the mode of nutrition the parasites are heterotopic that means they are not the plants plants are autotrophs autotrophs what is the meaning of autotrophs the one which can prepare their own food auto means self tropic means nutrition they cannot do it why they cannot do it because they do not have chlorophyll in them so then what is the mode of nutrition of bacteria the mode of nutrition of bacteria is heterotopic they can be parasitic and they can be saprophytic parasites they live in the body of organism or from the outside uh the body of organism other organism they will get their they get their food they suck their food saprophytes these or the sapro i'm talking in general saprophytes so what do saprophytes do they get their food from dead and decay things this is about the mode of nutrition now the body of bacteria is not divided into root stem or leaves that is the reason this is not the plant so when we will talk about some other organism you will find that even those are not plants but the body is divided little bit like that so that is the reason here we need to write that body is not i am underlining this not divided is not divided into roots stems and leaves the body of the bacteria are not divided into root stem or leaves i will just clean this side and will continue if we have to talk about the size of the bacteria the bacterias are very 
minute structure these are very minute structure and measured in microns so measured in microns they are very very minute structure cannot be seen by the naked eyes if we talk about occurrence of the bacteria i will not discuss the occurrence of bacteria in detail it is in general as we have discussed about the general uh, the other microorganism so it is present everywhere including our body inside our body and outside our body also so it is present everywhere now we will talk about the structure of the structure of the uh, bacteria as i have written over here bacteria are prokaryotes what is the meaning of prokaryotes i'll have to rub this completely to explain the meaning of prokaryotes and the structure of prokaryotes pro means primitive pro means primitive and karyotes means i'll cut this point and karyotes means nucleus so bacteria are the one which has got primitive nucleus so we'll talk more about the structure of the bacteria how the prokaryotes are uh, what is the difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes just i'll have to rub this and then we'll discuss about the structure of the bacteria now we will talk about the structure of the bacteria as we have discussed that the bacteria are prokaryotes bacteria are prokaryotes but what are prokaryotes we can say prokaryotes means first of all we are talking about prokaryotes this word prokaryotes can be divided into two where pro means primitive and karyotes means nucleus so those organism those organism which has got primitive kind of nucleus or in which the chromatin material is not enclosed in a nucleus are known as prokaryotes bacteria is one of them prokaryotes means what this word prokaryotes can be divided into two pro means primitive and the karyotes means nucleus those organism which have their nucleus very of it is of primitive type that means the chromatin material is not enclosed in the nucleus are known as prokaryotes what are the other one then others are eukaryotes we'll be discussing all this thing in the in the uh, chapter cell in that chapter we'll be discussing in detail about the eukaryotic plant and the animal cell so here we will not talk about the eukaryotes i will but still explain the prokaryotes structure or i will draw a prokaryotic cell this is the right place to draw this is a prokaryotic cell pro karyotic cell obviously by drawing this oval it doesn't means this is a prokaryotic cell i am drawing it further now prokaryotic cell as uh no every cell has got cell membrane in the same way the bacteria also have cell membrane so this is cell membrane this is the outer membrane and so it is 
cell membrane but in plants we have got one more membrane which is one one more one more layer which is known as cell wall but it is present only in plants and here also we have got cell wall but we are saying that bacteria are not plants so what is the different difference in plants the cell wall is made up of cellulose but in bacteria after cell membrane cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane so in all this you will understand in a better way in the chapter cell so this is the outer membrane which is known as cell membrane and after cell membrane is the cell wall the yellow one is the cell membrane and this one is the cell wall after cell wall there is again a thick structure but then this structure is formed only in the adverse conditions what is the meaning of adverse condition adverse conditions means when the bacteria is have to protect themselves from the external situations like when the temperature is very high maybe boiling temperature or when it is very low maybe talking about the you know ice maybe certain poisonous chemicals are present in these conditions the capsule is formed i will explain you know step by step then only it will become clearer so first of all let me draw a capsule over here it's not visible i'll take some other chalk so this is the outermost layer which is capsule and please remember this capsule is formed only in the adverse condition this capsule is formed only in the adverse condition what are the adverse condition adverse conditions may be when the temperature becomes very high temperature becomes very low certain poisonous chemicals are being uh, you know are present over there so this is a capsule which is formed only in the adverse condition from here the flagella comes out from here the flagella comes out you know the number of the flagella also differs from bacteria to bacteria this is flagella what is the function of flagella flagella helps in the movement flagella helps in the movement this is the flagella okay here also this one is the flagella these are very minute thread like structures now what is present inside as in all the cells the uh, the inside part the inner part of the cell is filled with a substance which is jelly like here also this is totally filled with a jelly like substance and this is known as cytoplasm it is known as cytoplasm in the chapter cell you will study the plant and the animal cell in which the nucleus is present inside the nucleus the chromatin material or the chromosomes are present but this is the speciality of the prokaryote speciality means this is only the primitive character where the chromatin or the chromosomes are not present inside the nucleus rather it is attached in the or to the membrane this is what this is chromosome this is chromosome so circular chromosome or dna material is present which remains attached to the cell wall 
now apart from these certain granules are present apart from these certain granules are present certain ribosomes are also present but very less ribosomes are present very small ribosomes are also present one more structure which is known as plasmid these plasmid may present or may be absent it depends upon the species of the bacteria plasmid so these are the organelles which are present inside the prokaryotic cell what is a prokaryotic cell pro means primitive karyotic means nucleus these organism have their has their primitive cellular structure outer first of all one membrane which is known as cell membrane cell membrane is again covered by cell wall now here is a point which i wanted to explain cell membrane is present in plants in animals in microorganisms cell wall is absent in animals it is present in plants cell wall is present in plants cell wall is present in plants and in plants it is made up of cellulose and it is made up of cellulose here also cell wall is there but here the cell wall is not made up of cellulose it is made up of peptido peptido glycan peptido glycan so here cell wall is present but it is not made up of cellulose rather it is made up of peptido glycan ah uh, first of all we were talking about cell membrane cell membrane is covered by cell wall which is not made up of cellulose as we know in plants the cell wall is made up of cellulose here the cell wall is made up of peptido glycan now after this one capsule is present this capsule works in the adverse condition that we will talk uh later in this lecture during adverse condition what is the meaning of adverse condition not like unfavorable conditions all these mass all what is present inside the cell comes in one circular or one spherical shape body all things comes inside like this and then the cell wall is present outside the capsule is present outside what is the function of the capsule the capsule protects the cell in the adverse condition as in the adverse condition all will shrink and form a spherical shape body and all this will shrink and come into one spherical so this capsule is very very helpful as this is helping the bacteria to survive in the adverse conditions after this what is present over here as in other cells the cytoplasm is present similarly here also in this prokaryotic cell cytoplasm is present certain structures you will see only very very few structures like plasmid is present that is also like plasmid will not be present in all the bacterias it will be present only in few bacterias then we can see very few ribosomes are present granules are present most important characteristic feature is the dna the circular dna is open it is naked it is not present inside the nucleus 
rather it is attached to the cell membrane so we can see the structure here again flagella is present which helps in the movement of the cell so this is the structure of a prokaryotic cell and very important point to note cell wall is present but it is not a plant structure why it is not a plant structure because in plants the cell wall is made up of cellulose but here this cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan we will talk about the next feature of the bacteria this was about the prokaryotic structure that means the structure of the bacteria the bacteria are prokaryotes so this is the structure of the prokaryotic cell we'll proceed to the next topic